Hello my friends, this video is not clickbait. These are legit reasons why you should not come to Russia. Do not come, do not come, do not come. I can't stress it enough. No other channel is gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you in this video. So please stick around, pay attention, and let me know if you have any other questions. There's so many channels telling you how great life in Russia is, but they're not telling you the difficult parts, the important parts. On this video, you're gonna learn about many different things that might complicate either your visit here as a tourist or your my immigration here as a person who wants to live permanently in Russia and overall everything to do with Russia that's going to be hard I'm here to tell you the truth so stick around until the end because they're just going to get significantly more important now the title of the video is called don't come to Russia and I named it that because I don't want you to come here unprepared there's many people who are going to tell you so many different reasons why you should but I'm here to tell you the negative things, the real things, and I've been living here for over a year and I've gathered all this information during the most turbulent time in, in recent Russian history. So let's get into the list. One reason why you shouldn't come to Russia is if you don't even have a Russian visa. Now I know that goes without saying, but you would be surprised how many people just fly thinking they can come into Russia without a visa. Now in America it's obvious, but so many other countries think that they have open borders with Russia and this is not so. So the beginning of this list is going to start off very easy. Don't come to Russia if you don't have a Russian visa. Now if you're coming on a tourist visa, don't come to Russia if you intend to work here and make your life here. I'm a special case where I'm in a relationship obviously and I've made my way around society. I have income. I brought cash into Russia and that's how I'm surviving. But if you're thinking that you're gonna work illegally in Russia, well watch this. I know it's very common sense that it's illegal to be an illegal worker, but where I come from, obviously, there's tons of illegal immigrants who have jobs. In Russia, it's not that easy to get away with it because everywhere you go, you need paperwork. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Now, many of you guys who are watching perhaps are Russian and you know the saying. In Russian, it's, I don't know, but Senya says that without paperwork, you're shit. And that just means that you're nothing without the paperwork. And that goes all the way back to having the right visa when you come into Russia. Do not come to Russia if you're planning on working illegally inside. Another reason why you shouldn't come to Russia is all of the sanctions going on right now, it is very hard to get money from your country into this country. So if you're not prepared to struggle a lot to figure out ways how to bring your money into Russia, simply do not come because you're not going to figure it out once you're inside. You need to be very prepared. I'm lucky enough to where I live next to a border country and if I need money, I have to get out of Russia and come back legally with a legal amount of money. This is not a sustainable way to live and I would not want this for any of you guys, but I'm doing this because like I said, I'm in a relationship here, I'm making my life here and that is just how it is for me. But if you're not ready to live like this, simply do not come. Another very important topic that a lot of people do not bring up is do not come to Russia just because you think it's cheaper here, because you think it's easier here, because you think that the women are more beautiful here. That is not a reason why you should come. In fact, if these are the things that you're thinking why you should come, do not come to Russia. This is not the 1990s where you can call a phone and have a Russian mail order bride. We are not in that type of time anymore. In fact, it's, it's non-existent. If you have nothing to offer these people, if you're not a good person, if you're just coming for egotistical reasons, do not come. This is not a place where you're going to survive. The people can read through that immediately. And in this 
environment, you're not going to thrive. I know that this video is turning into some sort of rant, but I just get tired of answering questions. Some people are just so egotistical. They're so in their heads of things they want to do in Russia because they watch other videos, but they don't understand that it's actually hard living here. It's actually a struggle to survive every month, figuring out what you have to do, how you're going to make it, uh, just the legal issues that you're going to deal with. They are things that you're going to have to deal with once you're already inside. But if you're not ready for them, do not come to Russia. And by the way, guys, if what I'm saying is helping you, please consider sharing this video with somebody who's thinking about coming to Russia. Okay, we need to share this information because this is actually to prepare you who want to come. These are going to be the struggles that you're going to encounter. If you're finding this video helpful, like I said, please share it and consider subscribing and giving it a like. Thank you. It helps the channel grow and it helps the community grow. And now we're going to move on to more, more important topics of why you shouldn't come to Russia. And one thing is, do not come to Russia if you think you're going to live here permanently on a tourist visa. Like I mentioned before, this is not a sustainable way of life. If you think you're going to be coming out of the country and back in, out of the country and back in, and try to make a real life here without work, without any legal paper to bind you to this land, that is the wrong intentions that you have already. Do not come if you're just going to live here as a tourist, as I'm doing it. I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm telling you my mistakes. I'm gonna leave the country in November. I'm gonna come back, get married, and get or try to obtain some sort of residency. I'm telling you guys the things that nobody's gonna tell you anywhere else. You have to believe me. Do not come to Russia if you're not ready to do things the right way. Coming from a Western country, you think that the world is a lot easier. I'm guilty of it. When I go to other countries, I think that the world is mine. Russia has humbled me. I want to take this time now to gear the video into towards another direction, give you guys some answers. I want to give you guys some knowledge and some information. Now that I've told you why you shouldn't come to Russia, we're going to hop into a bonus round of key information that are going to help you prepare for when you do come. In the past, I've made videos on how you can obtain your Russian visa. Okay, I'm going to link that below so you can watch it. You don't have to go through a travel agency or a visa agency. You can do it yourself. The paperwork is very simple. My video is the most detailed video on the internet right now. So if you go watch it, if you don't have a visa yet, you can go watch it. This is the first step in visiting Russia. Now, I will say there are some countries that will let you come on an e-visa where you don't have to actually have a physical visa and go through the whole uh, just nerve-wracking uh, process of getting a visa sometimes. I'm going to link a link uh, a list of countries that you don't need a visa. But if you don't have it yet, remember, I've already made a video and you can see that one down below. When you come to Russia, the best way to bring money is cash. Remember, it is very hard to bring money in. All these people will talk about crypto, but if you're coming as a tourist for one week, two weeks, three weeks, enough cash in physical is the best way to do it. You're not going to get robbed. Don't think that, oh, what happens if immigration sees me with $10,000? Listen, this is, this is a country of law. Nobody's going to take your money. When I first came into Russia, I had that maybe that amount of money, and I was so nervous. I said, wow, they're taking it out of my bag. They're going to count it. Surely they're going to take a little bit away because I know how it was in my country in Mexico. I know how it is in the United States where they might miscount, maybe just come up with something. That is not going to happen in Russia. If you're coming as a tourist, bring cash. You have no idea how many times I get asked about the money problem, right? Listen, on average... For a week, let's just say you, you go all out and you want to enjoy yourself and you want to eat a lot. Just say you'll waste $100 maximum. Unless I don't know how much you're eating. Housing might cost you for a whole month $400 on average. Okay, So it's about $500 to $600 a month to survive in Russia alone. That might be a lot for you. That might be a little bit to others. right? I'm just giving you like 
the average. You don't need to start asking, how do I bring money? How much do I need? Just take this video as the general guide for the average for everything. As far as your money goes, you can actually open up a bank account with your non-Russian citizenship, with your passport. So if you're scared about holding all your money cash, open up a bank account in Sver, okay? And then put your money in, and there you can turn it into rubles. That is a safe way of carrying your money inside of Russia. And for the people who need their phone and need connected phone like Line, you can go to MTS. There you can get a SIM card, pay a very low fee of maybe $20 for unlimited. No, it's even less. It was like $10 for unlimited or something like this. Guys, you could have everything you need if you come as a tourist. Bank account, SIM card, and connected phone. I hope that I did truly discourage you to come to Russia if you're unprepared. The point of this video is to make sure that you're not coming without what you need. And once you're inside, I want you to know the things that you need, you can get. There's simple ways of getting here. Now we're going to talk about how to get into Russia. But first of all, don't come to Russia if you don't know how to even get here. You might end up in a country that you had no idea was not Russia, like one of the Kyrgyzstan. Uh, Kazakhstan, if your flights go through different countries and they don't end up in Russia, right now during sanctions, there's not a lot of countries that fly into Russia. So right now, off the top of my head, I'm going to name you three countries that might have connections into Russia directly with flights. The first one is Turkey. That is if you're coming from the east coast of the United States or Europe. The second one is Mongolia. Okay, Mongolia, if you're coming from the western side of the United States, Australia and all these countries on this side of the world, Mongolia is a good connector. And I think that Georgia opened up direct flights into Russia. So these are the three countries that I know of right now, even during sanctions, even during flights that don't exist anymore. These are the three countries that I hope you get into Russia. Do not come to Russia if your flight goes through like Poland or I don't know, all these different countries, these, a lot of these countries will not fly direct into Russia. A lot of people have said, hey, don't turn into that channel that asks for likes, asks for comments. But the reason why I'm telling you guys is to comment down below is because I think that this channel is one of the most engaging channels. I actually go out of my way every morning to look at every comment and try to answer you guys as much as possible. I try to give you the real information in real time. I do research. I go outside and ask questions. When people want information, I go out of my way. Now, I'm sorry that I ask you so often. Please comment down below. The thing is that I'm from 1989. I grew up in a time of information where you rose your hand, you asked questions, and you got an answer. I know there's a lot of people out there that are looking for answers, so I'm here to ask you to comment down below so that I can help you get the information. These videos are specifically made for those people who look for knowledge. I'm gathering it all up here for you. I really hope that this video offended nobody. My intentions were to give you the real information in real time. And if this actually helped you, let me know. I can make more videos like this. The reason why I'm sitting inside the apartment doing these videos is because I just had to answer a couple of questions. It's been building up. It's been a long time since I've sat here and told you guys the truth. So thanks again, guys. And you know what? We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye from the shores of Baikal. And by the way, here are some suggested videos that are really, really cool. If you end up watching them, let me know so I can tell you how grateful I am in the comment section. Thanks a lot.